just so happened to go up the road and then just turn around. It's a man driving in the car. And I just came up here to sit, to sit down um, and do my thing. I was, I didn't, couldn't catch him um, when he went up there because my phone was in my pocket. And when he went down, I was trying to video him and then I didn't get him. So he looks over at me and now there he's going, going, don't wave at me and don't look back up here. And right when he came up, two white SUVs come by same style, same model, same everything. This is, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Like, this is, I don't know. I feel like I'm a, a stranger or something like in this community now. This is the community that I grew up in from a little boy until I left home. It's like everybody look at me strange and just have all these secret conversations and just, I'm just ready to, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta leave. Um, like, <laughs> it is, it is it's crazy. So I guess he goes up the road, sit for a little bit until his handler, I guess, text him or call him and tell him, okay, now ride back down the road. It's crazy, it went back the same direction he came from. And I know who lives up that road, and those are not their vehicles. Pretty much those people who live up that road is not even there, there's a white car. So, it's shame on them they just this is just a bunch of stupid people that doesn't have anything else to do they're just so stupid like it's sad how stupid that they are <laughs> and <clears throat> well now when i sit and think about it like i pretty much think i was targeted i was born in, into this like because i was one when the thing broke with when i because i deleted all my family off of my facebook i'm about to delete the facebook as well it was so funny when my aunt called me, um, but they was, they was calling my mother first because they know I, I put them in their place. So then she got the nerve to call me and then just talking. She said something strange to me that happened that put me in deep thought. Um, the little school bus and these are the truck that they use a lot to come by and color. But what she said to me that put me into that, that deep thought, but not really a deep thought, but just had me, just had me thinking like, okay. She said to me, oh, I knew who you was before you even knew who you was. I'm like, what do you mean about that? Like, I mean, that's what I should have asked her, but you know what? Um, my spirits already came and gave me the answers to that. So, you know what? It is what it is. And God really showed me that. I mean, I was, um, how to put this? I mean, I don't like to say celebrity, but that's what they look at as a celebrity hairdresser. Like, I work with stars and famous people um, on what well, the last thing I did was like movies, but I worked in the fashion entertainment business for a while. It was all excited and this and that. And then once I got sabotage and all that kind of stuff, and now it's just like they're giving them a lot of them is walking around like they're better than me. Like, which I never, I don't care what kind of job I had. That's just the kind of person I was. I never looked at myself as I'm better than anybody. Anybody who really, really knew me, they knew that I would give my shirt off my back to anybody and give it get my last and my family knew that they knew I would get my last name but now it's like they're giving me their ass to kiss my niece walking around like she's this big star or something just walk around how you gonna be walking in the house with somebody sitting there and not speaking all no, you just saying there's a little green truck all you just saying look there's another kind of greenish car a red a white I mean a black truck she's walking around it's, it's crazy like it's just sad it's just sad and then they're looking at me like um, I'm crazy or they're trying to make me think I'm crazy because that's their plan. And even with my mother, I just literally stopped eating her food. Like she tried to cook or oh, make some home. And, I, and this is the thing with her, I, I still love her to death. Um, first time she made some something, she asked whether I said I don't eat beef. And up making it anyway. I, I told you I don't eat beef. Oh, I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. I'll make you some, no, you gotta make me nothing. They come around, she go said, make some, some hamburger. I told you I don't eat beef. I ate the hamburgers anyway, but yours, yours gonna be in the microwave. Why you gotta fix my, and I still didn't eat it. So I go to check in the microwave this morning. I guess, I don't know, maybe somebody ate them or she threw them in the trash. But I wasn't gonna eat them. And then not that, I mean, I ate, I ate junk and I went to bed, but I know that's not good for my body, but 
it's just my spirit telling me don't eat it like and that's how and that's what um this program is about most of the time i won't say all but you have something that they don't want you walking around because you see the truth and and i've been seeing the truth <laughs> of this so yeah and and that's why maybe they're all trying to pressure me yeah, i'm gonna leave i know i gotta go back um because they know i see that they're true colors since i've been down here i i, I know who they who they really are they wasn't portraying who they who they say they were and that's why I, actually when i left home the first time it's like something was in in me saying don't come back ever but no me family guy love my family and this and that and just come back when they have holidays and when they have stuff and even when they wasn't happy so just come to visit but you know you live and you learn so yeah just wanted to put that out there and like <laughs> Uh, yeah, these perps, they they don't even, and the sad part about it, they don't even know what they're doing. Because the video, when I outed one of the perps in this video, he didn't even have a clue what he's doing. All he know, they just came and told him something, look at that red truck pass, but just told him something about somebody, and then it, it, that was it. So, my thing is, and get this, since the day I outed him, he haven't been back to my mother's house since. I kid you not, he haven't been back over here since. And I was gonna ask her last night where he, where, why he haven't been back over. But maybe before I leave, before I leave, I'm gonna ask her that. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> oh God, this world, this world. But the only way for me is to have God in my heart, and that's it. There is no other way. I mean, even though the devil, and I ain't gonna always say I've been on the right path. I mean, I've done some devilly stuff, so I don't. I still don't look at the people who are still living in, in the devil way look at them wrong that's who they choose to do but for me now knowing what I know God is the right way I mean he always been in me and that's why he's in in, in, in all of us it's just the, who we choose um, to go with but yeah just wanted to put that out there and that car and he saw me video like if you was a regular person and you see somebody you and, and where I'm sitting at the street is really close let me just do it so you can see the street is right there and you drive by and you see me videoing, you're gonna stop. I know I would stop and be like, yo, why are you videoing? Why are you videoing me? What's up with that? No, he turns around because he know I know who we, who we are and what he's doing. But, I mean, that's, I guess he need a job. That's their thing. But it's, it's so sad. It's, it's very sad. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. It's so sad that I can laugh. And this, Here's, here's come another car and then the power of a white car I told you white car <laughs> and my back was turned don't be born and then they blow the horns you see <laughs> oh god and see and, and I didn't even my back was turned and I knew that was a white car see that's why they don't want me walk around because I, I can just yeah just like I know and that's why I told my mother and she be looking guilty a lot I told her I said I know I know a lot of stuff that people don't think I know and, and then I noticed when I'm around her, I'm playing gospel music. Not that I'm playing gospel music to set anybody off. I'm playing gospel music because that's my spirits need that. And I can just see she always, oh, who's saying that? Like, my mother was in the church and I asked her, I'm like, why you don't go to church anymore? Her answer was, oh, I don't know. Like, you know why you don't go to church anymore. Uh, which I'm saying, I mean, because I don't go to church. I mean, I'm a spiritual person, but not everybody is. I don't like to throw religion or or being a spiritual person and when that come around to that like I respect everybody belief whatever you believe in that's that's your belief I don't this this great nobody believe what you want to be religion whatever religion that is if you want to be spiritual or or even you want to be an atheist that's up to you uh, we we have the choice to choose whatever we want to be but I just said that because whenever I would talk to her she'd be like oh I'm gotta go to bed gotta get ready for church so and at that point at least I know she still had some kind of belief but I don't, I don't think she believes anymore because just some of the stuff that I see she do, she does and how she act now so I mean I just keep her in prayer even if I once I leave and they don't which I know happened to them already don't want anything else to do with me and I'm sure my mother gonna be saying because they'll brainwash her I'm, I'm still gonna love them and as my grandma will always say you gotta love them from a distance and here's the thing what and then it it really came to realiz realization for me now that that Rob that was uh, used to follow me around all 
she will always tell me, keep your mind on God. And now, what I'm going through now, I really see. Because it, it was, what she was trying to tell me in so many words, that it's going to be a day where that's all you're going to have. It's going to be God and me. And pretty much that's how I feel right now. That's all. And, and literally, I've been keeping my mind on God. So, they even... They're going to have cousins and stuff they're crazy because our son gays. If they, and I tell them all the time, if you really know how life works and what life is all about and that we're just energy, you'll do the same thing. Well, I'm not saying do the same thing I'm doing. You'll find a way that helps you throughout life to do it. So that's it. I just wanted to share that and get that perk um, on camera. Uh, yeah. So, and then... <laughs> that's funny I'm still even amazing myself and I didn't even turn around my back was I'm gonna sh see well you saw how I was holding the, the the camera I mean I don't put my face in video mode because they they didn't get me with the pause and they're still trying to get me with it more but my spirit is, 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 is up God so I catch it every time so but yeah um, and you guys can comment on that I don't know I know that maybe it's something that I could be taking to try to because I know it's going to eventually kill me one day, this poison stuff that they, they're, they're giving me. And I know that it's, it's not even sometimes so much of what they put in, even in the food or the, if you drink or whatever. It even sometimes they can just put like some kind of substance. And I know that's what, because when I spoke about in my video before, the other one, when my mother brought me these pies and, and chips and gave it to me and I ate the stuff and instantly I went to sleep. I think that was for her to make those burgers to try to get me there. So I don't know, maybe I need to research it and that's what I do today. After I finish this video and post it up, I research of, I guess, post poison. What do you do after being poisoned? Um, yeah, so, and it's so funny because my nephew was here maybe last weekend and I have these certain pies that I like to eat and he asked for one so I gave him one and then he wanted some drink. So I went in the fridge and got him a water. And he just, he's a playful guy. Um, he said, oh, okay, is, 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 is any poison in this? Like, what a five-year-old, I mean, I'm not saying, I mean, I know kids are, are, are bright, um, this generation they are, but what are you, he knowing about, oh, it's something poison, and it, it's wrapped up, why would it be poison? So I was like, no, so that goes to show you that, I don't know, maybe his parents told him that, which my brother and his wife, or they're probably using him against me because my nephew, me and him looked at exactly like people would, when we would be together, people would think they were my son. Like, or maybe that's how it working. Like, I guess I'm about to be erased and he's, my, he's gonna be my clone or something. Who knows? Or maybe, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanna put that there and get here and finish doing my daily stuff. I got I to gotta get back so I can meditate. I haven't meditated yet. But I just want to put that out there. And I'm sure it'll be more videos to come. And as always, um, light, love, energy, peace, and blessings.